I like Snickers bars. All right, they're delicious. Peanut butter cups, also good. Um, they have roughly 220 and 210 calories each, so a package of peanut butter cups and a package of Snickers. Nutritional calories, that's a measure of energy. How would I relate that to just calories? Times it by a thousand. Times it by a thousand. Okay, good. So this is kilocals. Oops, I think that should be a small c. Kilocalories. And there's a relationship between kilocalories and kilojoules. 4.184. Good. Okay, so if I have 851.8 kilojoules. And I have 4.184 kilojoules per kilocalorie. What I'm going to get is, I don't think I have this. No. Okay, let me do that real quick. 851.8 divided by 4.184. 204 nutritional calories. So today we're going to see a reaction because I made it with one mole of iron oxide, okay, so one mole of iron oxide, so my total energy release, as long as the energy is conserved, is negative 851.8 kilojoules, which will be slightly less than the amount of energy totally in a Snickers bar or a two Reese's peanut butter cups. Okay, you guys are like, okay, big deal, whatever. <laughs> We're going to melt iron, though, with that amount of energy. That's a huge deal. That's a ton of energy. So how come when you eat a Snickers bar or a peanut butter cup, you don't all of a sudden get really hot? You That's might right. if you're allergic to the peanuts. But... <laughs> and don't use the peanuts in your system. Okay, so the energy is dispersed. It's slowly broken down. The energy is released over a long amount of time. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to release that amount of energy very quickly. Okay. So we're going to go outside. I'm not going to do it in here. It's a terrible idea to do it in here. I did it once before. Um, so everybody meet me between life science and chemistry. Um, stay up on the landing.